Hello everyone and welcome back. Game with Priesty, Newcastle Jets in the Premier League. Episode 2 for the season. And we see here we're taking a look at a few of our players. Um, aren't you right? A young goalkeeper, we're going to send him out on loan. And Haynes there from our youth academy. Um, we switched his position. He goes up quite a lot. So we offer him a position in the first team. Get an offer there for Clinton Antoine there that we turned down. I also believe there was an offer for Ramsey, a really big one from Everton. But we're not going to let him go, at least at not this stage of the game. Second game of the season, first one of the episode, is at home to Crystal Palace. The Eagles, managed by Patrick Vieira, who's doing a really nice job. Um... Love the Crystal Palace jerseys too. Uh, really nice to look at. Will Hughes in the side there. Um, he swears quite a lot. And the Cycling GK, Ben Foster's YouTube channel. That's a really good, guys. If you haven't seen it, make sure you check it out. And early into the game here, it's just all the Jets all over. Crystal Palace walk here. What a beautiful ball. That's what we brought him in to do. I think that's Barrios there at the back stick who couldn't finish it. But a beautiful volley and a nice save from the goalkeeper. Um, Barrios would then play Ramsey in and from a tight angle. Um, Golly makes what is a pretty regulation save. And then following that, we've been all over him. You see there, you don't even have to really wait for the replay. It was a clear hand ball there from Gua. Um, as we try to knock the ball over towards the back stick. He's upset about it. But Lacazette steps up to hopefully score his first goal for the club. And he does it with ease. Goalie goes the wrong way. He puts it in the top bins. And we're off 1-0 lead. That lead, unfortunately, it wouldn't last very long. As you see Crystal Palace knock the ball around the box. Well, we win it there with G to Genek, and they're first to the scraps. They <laughs> win it back, and there's not much we can do here. They knock the ball around the box really well, and then that late runner into the box, midfielder doesn't track them, and it's a one all. And then as we move into the second half here, uh, see Rovella there, nice run. Plays it into uh, Olsen and Olsen. Beautiful finish there on the left foot. Uh, and we're 2-1 up. And we think this could be our first win in the Premier League. Then Laird gets the ball. Bring it out from defence. I'm not sure what we're thinking there. But he turns it over. And you can't turn the ball over in the Premier League. You will get punished. Um, yeah, so 2 all from going in a position where we think we're going to win the game and then it wasn't much further on. Nice turn there, Iglesias, and it's 3-2. Only moments ago, well, 2-1 up, and I was absolutely heartbroken. Would have one final chance um, to get forward. Olsen here would play in Taggart, and the goalie hesitates, stays inside his six-yard box, and Taggart... Punishes the goalkeeper there for not coming off his line and being more proactive. So the score would finish three or really disappointing result. Uh, you know, this is going to be another long season. You know how badly we've struggled defending over the course of the save. And it would seem like this is going to be another long season. So hopefully we're going to... If we're going to let in two goals a game, we're going to have to score three a game, which isn't the easiest uh, thing to do as we move into the next game of the episode at home in the Carabao Cup against Shrewsbury. I was feeling really confident. We're in the Prem now. Shrewsbury Town down in the lower leagues. So only a couple of regular starters would take the field in Barrios and Delaney Skipper for the day. Um, and you, you'd assume that we're just going to go out here and get the job done. Um, and early into the game, I'm pretty sure that's what it would look like. As we have a look at Shrewsbury Town's team here. Yeah, early in the game, we knocked the ball around really well. You can see Clinton here getting in behind. 
as a nice shot on goal. It's a regulation save, really, but it's nice to know that we're pressing forward. Then half an hour into the game here, McKinley, what a shot that is. Rifles it in, and there's nothing the goalie could do about that one. And he goes over to celebrate with the fans, and we're 1-0 up. Shrewsbury have done absolutely nothing, and you think that we're just going to roll on and win this game, but we give the ball away. Delaney having a bit of a shocker, gives the ball away. Nice cross and absolutely bullet header there. Would make the score one all, and from there, we've got to try and find our way back into the lead, and we do that through Delaney, making up for his earlier error. We're back into the lead 2-1, and from there, you think we're going to kick on, but Shrewsbury Town, give them all the credit. They would make it really hard for us there. You see, we can't get enough. Mitchell can't get enough power on his head of the goalkeeper, makes a really nice save. And then Lawrence Thomas comes up with a beautiful save. They're deputising in goal. And then he comes up with another save there. But then following that, the ball strikes Delaney's arm. I think he's pretty hard done by, but despite scoring a goal, despite being the captain for the day. He's been at fault or been a part of the two goals we've allowed in so far this episode. And Shrewsbury Town, despite us being the Premier League team, they would look the better. Odin Bele puts in a challenge there, I'm pretty sure. And the ball gets swept into the net. But luckily for the Jets, the striker is offside and is quite clearly offside. There's absolutely no one around him, though. The defenders are just everywhere. We're lucky to get away with that. Delaney would get away with that penalty. That was pretty savable. The goalie wouldn't move. Um, Shrewsbury would equalise in the penalty shootout from the spot. Then Thurgate, once again, we get lucky. The goalie goes the right direction that time, but can't get his hands to it. Lawrence Thomas goes to his left, comes up with a big save. Barrios can put us further into the lead, but he puts it over the bar. Luckily for us, though, almost carbon copy, they would put the ball over the bar. Then we step up. In off the crossbar, the goalkeeper went the right way. And that would give Lawrence Thomas a chance to win the game for us. And I decided that I'd just keep down the middle. And it got slotted away. But then luckily for us, Taggart stepped up and did the business. So he would move through to the next round of the Carabao well, Cup. Um, despite how difficult Shrewsbury made it for us. Um... You know, that was a really surprising result and really disappointing. I didn't think I played very well at all, to be honest. Um, and in a lot of ways, we were lucky um, to make it through to the next round. I mean, you've got to... doesn't matter who you play and what league you play in. You've always got to respect your opponents here. You see an offer come in for Laird, our backup Right, wing back behind Kyle Walker. But you know what? Kyle Walker, he's getting old. He doesn't have too much more in the legs. I think Laird could be our starting right wing back. If not towards the end of the season, definitely pro, um, definitely next season. Um, also get an offer for your McKinley, which we turned down from Club Bruges. And this is the end of the transfer window. You see the big transfer dealings that are done. A few surprising ones here. Joe Gomez going to Manchester United. Um, Mason Greenwood to Spurs. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure if these would happen. And then you have a look at the business we've done over the transfer window. You know, here you go, Lloris, probably the most notable to come in, along with Kyle Walker and Lacazette. Um, but, yeah, we also... Let a few players go, Carlos Castro, Ed Gibbons, and a few out on loan. We move in to the last game of today's episode, and it is against Brighton. Um, I'm pretty sure we're going to be competing with these guys to stay in the Premier League, so almost a relegation six-point, although we're only three games into the league season, and... 
We haven't found our first victory yet, so hopefully we'll be able to get it in this game. No injury concerns for us, so we're able to put out our strongest 11, and it's decent 11, to be fair. But early in the game, I think I mentioned this, like, honestly, these teams just come flying out of the blocks in these games. Hugo Lloris comes up with a massive save, and once you're behind, it's really hard to get the ball off the AI, so once you're behind... Things can become very difficult. You see Jacob Ramsey there. He should have put us into the lead. Lacazette played him in beautifully. But he makes up for his earlier error in the 32nd minute. We do take a 1-0 lead. Just before halftime, Brighton would go on the attack again. And just beautiful footwork there from Mbepu. And slams it home past the race. And it's a one all at half time. And we move into the second half here. McKinley plays the ball forward to, into Lacazette. Nice fake shot stop here. Gets onto his left foot. Not his preferred. Goalie comes up with a pretty regulation save. And then here you see Lacello who's at uh, Brighton now. He forces another great save from the race. Lucky to get away with that one. And then Ramsey gets him behind and he hits the post. So... Kind of could be going either way this game here. Taggart would storm into the box, so late in the game and put the Jets into the lead. 2-1. That's two games for two goals for Taggart this season. And the game would finish 2-1. Uh, our first three points of the season. You've got to be happy with that, guys. Um... I oh, know I am absolutely ecstatic. Looking forward to the next load of games, and I hope you guys enjoy today's episode. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much.